Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a full face get ready with me. I went ahead and applied my NYX Angel Veil Primer. This one right here. I'm going to go ahead and put on some foundation. We're going to go with, let's do the Infallible Pro, Pro Glow Foundation. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and apply that. I'm trying something new. I have my, I don't know if you know, I use my camera to record. And so I have it flipped around so that I'm using the rear facing camera on me to see if that makes the quality any better. So I can't really see what you can see. But we're going to go ahead and get this all over the face. And at first when I apply it, it looks like it doesn't match. It looks too yellow. But once I get it on and I get it blended in, it totally sinks into my skin. And it looks so much better. And with how dry my skin has been, I, that's what made me choose this foundation. I needed something that was a little bit more dewy, but has the coverage. And this seems to be the best of both worlds. Of course, we're gonna pull it down the neck. I'm wearing my favorite sweatshirt it's Sunday. It is a, it's a hoodie. It's a hoodie and sweatpants kind of day. Just a super lazy day. I'm sorry if you can hear the outside noise there. Somebody's out there doing some yard work and making a bunch of noise. Got that on. We're going to go ahead and use our Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer. I'm going to use the other end of the beauty sponge and tap that in. I do bring it up over my eyelids, but I am going to go in with my P. Louise base on my eyelids also. I'm also going to take my brand new Pretty Vulgar translucent setting powder that I got in my BoxyCharm. I had to think there for a minute. And I'm going to use that and set my under eyes. I did just do an unboxing with my BoxyCharm. I'm just taking a fluffy brush. And just taking that powder. And setting under there. I'm gonna go ahead and do brows now. I'm gonna use our Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is a new fave of mine. I am using a large mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. When I go back to edit this video, I hope that you're able to see and that I'm in frame. Because that would really suck if I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this brow, do the other one, and I'll be right back. Brows are on. 
I know you know I don't like to go overboard. I just like to fill in what I already have. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes and get them ready. Like I said, we're going to use the P. Louise base using a concealer brush. I take that product all the way up to my brow. I'm hoping that my mirror is not in the way. I just flip the brush over and make sure that that base is smooth. That's the word I'm looking for, smooth. We're gonna go ahead and go into bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I am loving this palette. I like to take Princess Cut And I'm just using a duo fiber. This happens to be a duo fiber elf brush. It helps so that I don't go in too heavy. I love the smell of this palette. It smells like chocolate. It has like a cocoa powder smell. For blush, I'm going to go in with my, this is the Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette. I'm going to use the blush in this, and I'm just using the same brush. The Duo Fiber brush. Once again, so I don't pick up too much product. I like to blend my br blush back along with my bronzer. I'm going to go back into the bronzer and I'm going to bronze up somewhere on my face. I'm going to take the shade Angle and then bring that along my jaw. And the shade Angle is a little bit darker than Princess Cut. We're going to bronze up here along the forehead. And go right up into the hairline. Bring it down just a wee bit. Oh good God, it looks so dark right now on camera, but it doesn't in real person. I just saw myself in the mirror on the camera and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so dark, but it isn't, it really isn't like that in real life. Oh my God, how weird. We've got a lot of color to the face today. So we're going to go ahead and highlight and I'm going to use my Amrezy highlighter. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about this highlighter. I like it, like a part of me likes it, likes it, and a part of me doesn't like it, and it's, everybody claims that it doesn't show texture, but I swear it does. It shows all the texture. So we're just going to get that on there. I really like it for my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight. But for this um, upper cheek area, I'm not really sure. 
And I noticed that I have to use a stiffer brush when using it. I can't just use a regular highlighting brush for whatever reason. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. Kind of pull it down into, just so it doesn't look like there's a straight line because I feel like it just looks like a straight line right there. We're gonna get into eyes. I have a brand new palette to play with. I am so excited. I have the entire collection. This is the Disney Princess Collection. The shadow palette is stunning. I have the ColourPop um, Super Shock Sh Shadow Foursome. This is the palette. We're going to play with this palette. If you look at this, that whole bottom row, which is actually the top row, is all mattes. And the rest of this palette is like... This row is all glitter and this is shimmers. So for a matte starter shade, I think I want to go in with, I think I want to start out with Grumpy. Grumpy is the shade right here. And we're going to pop that in the crease. It's kind of a pinky peach shade. I think what I'll do is I will do a two in one video. So I'll do a look today. We're using this palette and then do a look tomorrow using this palette and tie them together into this one video. Kind of like what I did with the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. I really want to play with this shade right here. It's called Enchanted Rose. It is a shimmer shade. I'm going to bring that in to the outer corner and I'm going to run it into my crease and oh my god that is super pigmented and I did not use any fix plus or anything on that it is straight on the brush wow that is like amazing I'm just trying to blend that up and diffuse it out just a little bit but it's getting higher than I want it to. I'm gonna do this outer half or outer corner of the lid. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. That's shocking, wow. I was not expecting that much. I really wasn't expecting to get that much out of that shade. The next shade I'm gonna go into is this purple one. That is called Poison Apple. And I'm gonna pop that across my lid. And I'm just using the same brush for this entire look. I have not switched brushes.
I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup because I have a mess going on. I've got fallout and I've got shadow kind of where I don't want it. So let me do a little bit of cleanup and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit more of that poison apple. I am going to use a different brush. And I'm just packing that on my lid. I'm then going to pick up a little bit of that romantic rose. And we're just going to go in real lightly and bring that back a little bit. Just let the shadows get out of control and go up too high and I wasn't happy with that and so I cleaned them up I really kind of want to deepen up the outside corner so I'm going to take I think to play it safe I'm gonna use beast it has shimmer in it I am going to need to use my mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. I just don't know if that's going to give me the depth I'm looking for. I think that did what I wanted it to. Go ahead and take this one right here. It's called Magic Carpet. I'm gonna run that underneath my lower lash line. I'm trying to incorporate a bunch of colors at the same time. When I sat down here, I had no intention of going this pink and purple look. <laughs> That's not where my mind was. I was thinking a more neutral look, but nope, we, we went here. So this is it, this is what we're doing, and that's fine. For brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use, there's this really pretty shade in here. This shade right here, it's called Prince Charming. We're gonna use that. Kind of a white iridescent kind of shade. I'm going to connect that into both the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Look at all that sparkle. Can you see it? It's so pretty. I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner. I'm gonna pop that in the waterline. I know, I know, I know, you're not supposed to tug on your eyes. Don't do this at home. I'm gonna take my Tarte Man Eater Liquid Eyeliner and I'm gonna run that along the lash line. And I'm 
keeping that real close to my lashes. I know I didn't play with the Super Shock Shadows today, so we're going to go ahead and play with those tomorrow when we do our eye look. For mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my Lancome Monster Big Mascara. I'm going to put this on, and I will be right back. Mascara's on. For lips, we have a bunch of lip colors to choose from. So let's take a look at what we've got. Like I said, I got the whole collection, so I have... I have everything. It comes in and I just tore it. I am terrible. It comes in this beautiful box. It says Disney Designer Collection. I have to admit, I absolutely love ColourPop. I love the packaging. I love their formulas, the shadows, their lip lipsticks. I love it all. So I'm going to pull out all of these shades. First up is Tiana. This is the shade for Tiana. I'm gonna go ahead and let me swatch them on my arm. So Tiana is kind of a brick red. I'm not sure that's gonna go with my look. Next I have Snow White. Snow White is more of a true red. I don't normally do swatches. Next, I have Jasmine. Jasmine is like a hot pink. Next is Cinderella. That is Cinderella, more of a rosy pink. Next is Ariel. Ariel is more of this brownish tone. And then I have Belle. And Belle looks more terracotta to me compared to the one above it. Out of those, I'm thinking Ariel. To be completely honest, I think this, I'm really thinking Ariel. Let's go ahead and I have a lip pencil that I got in BoxyCharm. So this lip pencil is by Bodyography and it is the shade Timber. So I don't know if you can see that. But I think that's going to go with that Ariel shade. And this is probably the first time that you've ever seen me li li uh, line my lips. I am going to fill in just a little bit. All right, so I filled them completely in with the lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and take Ariel. We're gonna put that on over top. All 
I kind of want to take Belle. This might completely ruin it, but this is Belle. And just add it there in the center for a little bit of depth. I'm really liking it. Let's see, what do we need to do? We need to set our face, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use the NYX Dewy Finish. I just had it. Okay, this is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And so this is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll be back in just a few minutes so that we can do another look using the same collection. A silver one. This one says thingamabob. Prince. Prince Charming. Enchanted Rose. And Ray. <gasps> Poison Apple. Yeah, who's Ray from? Is that from Princess and the Frog? Well, hello and welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and do our second eye look using the ColourPop and Disney collaboration. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. I've got my base face done. I just need to get some shadows on. So I'm gonna take this palette and I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Abu. And I'm gonna run that in through my crease. And this is just gonna prep us for the Super Shock Shadows. I got the, almost the full collection. I got everything except two of the Super Shock Shadows and the highlighters. So we will do a look and then see which lipstick or gloss will go with it at the end. And I'm thinking that that's all I want to do with the palette for now. I have my niece sitting here with me. We're just chilling. My niece, Melissa. So I want to take this shade right here and it's called Almost There. And I'm thinking that I wanna put this in kind of do a halo eye, which I'm, I'm not real familiar with doing. So this is, this is gonna be interesting. We'll see how this works out. But what I'm thinking is putting this on the inner and outer corner of my eye. And I don't know if the finger's the, west, the best, I don't know if my finger is the best way to do this or a brush. I'm really not sure. So I am gonna try it with a brush and see how this works. And we're just going to play a little bit here. Try and get this color, like I said, on the inner and outer corner. And it looks like it's going on. Let me try my finger. Some shadows work better with your finger. I'm not real familiar with the Super Shock, so I don't really know what to expect or how to really use them. This has a ton of glitter. And I'm gonna use my pinky to try and get into that inner corner. I don't know. 
how else to do that. But these are so buttery soft. I'm loving these. I kind of want to connect it up above that crease area. So I'm going to attempt to do that using my finger. So like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't played with these shadows ever before. I do have one highlight and I didn't know what I was doing and completely destroyed it. So um, hopefully I don't destroy these. I want to take this shade right here and I want to pop this in the center. Oh my gosh, they feel so soft. Uh oh. Somebody opened a door and my dog was going to go nuts. So, I need to build this up a little bit. These are so glittery and sparkly, and I love it. He's going to fix it. Oh, good. He's going to try to. Uncle Mikey's going to try to fix it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just packing that color on there. I would call this almost a periwinkle. periwinkle. This one is called A Whole New World. A Whole New World. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. And then we'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm back. I got the other eye done. Valerie, your food this is, is what it's looking like. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and take this pink color and I'm going to take it on a brush and try to run it on this lower lash line. Because I wanted to incorporate all four of the colors. This one is called Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. And then I'm also going to take some of the almost there, the brown one, bronzy brown shade. And I'm going to run that under there as well. And as you can tell, this is a full on glitter look. <laughs> now I'm going to go in to So This Is Love. This one is beautiful. Just look at that. We're going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner. I'm just adding more glitter. It's everywhere. Also going to bring it up on the brow bone. is like over the top. <laughs> I'm kind of loving it. I'm going to get a black liner and run it in my waterline. So I'm going to use my Avon Super Shock and this is just a black gel eyeliner. Pop 
pop that in my waterline. Let's go ahead and do a black liner on the upper also. So I'm going to use my Renaissance Flick by Makeup Revolution. And You sound like a pig? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Are you just making silly noises? Mm -hmm. Just about. Wait, what time is it? I think you have dinner time at five or six. I don't know right now. I think I probably know. You think you know? Five, that seems to just glide right over the top of that. 30, I didn't have any real issues with it. It's five thirty. I think. Now I'm going to add mascara. I'm going to go ahead and use my Lancome Monster Big Mascara. I'm going to throw this on and I'll be right back. All right, mascara's on. Now we're going to move on to lips. For lips, we have to decide which one we're going to use. I showed them to you once before. But let's go ahead and take a look again. We've got Cinderella. I love that one. It's like a bubblegum pink kind of color. Then we've got Ariel, and I think Ariel, if I remember correctly, is the one that I used in the last eye look. So kind of a nude. And then we have Belle, and Belle is super pretty. You vote for Belle? Mm-hmm. And then we have Jasmine, <gasps> that's that. hot pink. Is it hot for real? It's a super bright fuchsia pink. What is that? This one is Tiana, <gasps> a deeper brick red color. We have Snow White, which is your normal red. And then I do have the glosses. We have <sighs> Bibbidi. And Bibbidi is this more um, clear Moore? gloss with a little bit of what looks like gold in there. And then we have Bobbity. And Bobbity is this more pinky peach shade and boo of course and boo is this more yeah. pink color is it miss more or more more so which one should we do boo or should we do bell you want to do bell mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do Bell. And I actually I think that this actually goes with eye look. So that's it. This is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Let me know which look you like better, the first one or this one, and have a wonderful day.